Anchor Links is a user-friendly way to let your visitors jump to different sections of your page without leaving it. In order to create an anchor link, you need two things. First, you need the source anchor, and that is the link that will send your visitor to the right place. And the second thing, that is the destination. I'm Victor from divimundo.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create anchor links in Divi. My first step is to create my destination anchor. I want the user to be sent down to this blog when clicking my anchor link. To drop my anchor in this section, I'll enable the visual builder. Next, I'll go to the section settings. That's this blue box here, and I'll click the cogwheel. I'll head over to the advanced tab and CSS ID and classes. In the CSS ID field, I will type club hyphen blog. Don't add any hashes and no other special characters like dots or spaces or exclamation marks. You can use hyphens and uh, I prefer to use lowercase characters. Let's save that by clicking the green button. And before we save the page, I can just mention that you can add CSS IDs to uh, rows as well. Just go to the row, that's this green box. And here you have the option for CSS ID as well. You can do that for modules too, like this blog module. I'll go to this gray cogwheel, advanced, and CSS ID and classes. So the anchor link will be attached to the top of the element where you add the ID. So in this case, I added it to this section. So the visitor will be sent to this point, the top blue line here in the section. Let's preview this in front end. I click Exit Visual Builder, save and exit. And now I can just type in the URL field in the top of my web browser, hash blog hyphen blog, and I'll hit enter. Now I'm sent down to the club blog. So this works in an instant. In the next step, I will create different kinds of anchor links that will uh, direct the visitor to this section of the page. And I'll start by adding a new menu link. So I'll go to my WordPress dashboard, appearance, and menus. And I'll make sure that I'm editing the menu that I'm using on this page, which is the book club menu. And instead of adding a regular page or a post, I'll go down to custom links. I'll expand that and I'll use the link text club blog. And for the URL, I'm just going to use a hash this time and club and blog. Now, when you create the source links, it's important that you always add the hash in front of the CSS ID. So when you create your CSS ID in a section, row or module, you should not use the hash. But when you are linking to it, you should always use the hash. I click add to menu and I click save menu. If I head back to the page, you can see our new menu item up here. And if I click it, I will be smoothly sent down to the club blog. Next, I'm going to add a link to the club blog in a button on my page. I'll enable the visual builder again. And I'll edit this button module by clicking the cogwheel and I'll go to the link tab. I'll remove the old link and I'll add a hash club iPhone blog. Exit the visual builder, save the settings. Now when I click this button, sent down to my club blog. So what if I want to create an anchor link on another page that deep links into this section on this specific page? That's easy to do. So let's just head over to the home page and I'll enable the visual builder. And let's edit one of those buttons. So if I just would type blog, that wouldn't work because I don't use that CSS ID on this specific page. So in front of the CSS ID, I have to add the slug to this page. And since it's on the same domain, I don't need to, to type mysite.com. I'll just start with a slash. And uh, my URL here was anchor-links. 
and slash before the CSS ID. Let's try it out. And now if I click the read more button, I'll be sent down directly to the club blog. Now it opened in a new tab, but that was just because I had this setting in the button from before. You could of course open anchor links in the same parent tab if you'd like. Before we're done, I would just like to share one last trick with you, and that's how to create a back to top link. So all your DV pages and posts and products and whatever, they contain the CSS ID ET hyphen -boc, BOC. So if I type, for example, this book club page hash ET hyphen BOC and hit enter. I will be sent back to the top of the page. And this works globally. So in order to create a back to top link, I can just add a button, an icon or a text link right out here. For example, in this text module, I'll click the link icon, add the URL hash et hyphen boc. Okay. Save. Boom, we're sent to the top of the page with a nice smooth scroll effect. So this opens up possibilities. You could create a global back to top button using the Divi icon module and style it however you want just by using the theme builder. But that's another tutorial video, so I might get back to that. There are a few common mistakes when you create anchor links, so you should always test them carefully in front end. The first mistake is that you add the CSS ID in the CSS class field. It's easy to mix those fields up, but the CSS class, that's all about styling. But the CSS ID, that is where you put your anchor. Another common mistake is that you add the hash symbol when you enter the CSS ID in the destination anchor. When using DV, you should only enter the hash when you create the source anchor, when you create the button or the menu link or the text link that leads to the anchor. Another common mistake is that people add multiple CSS IDs that are identical on the same page or post. So let's say that I add the CSS ID uh, blog to one section and then I also add it to my footer on that page. Where should the user go if they click a link to this anchor? They can't end up in two places at the same time, not unless they are Jean-Claude Van Damme. Van Damme, Norris, Jackie Chan. Okay, that was all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment if you like this video. And come back for more WordPress and Divi tutorials.